Hey everyone, I've just been playing around on the croak broad threading and I'm really excited because um, I've found how to weave tulips. Well, I think they look like tulips anyway. So uh, I started out weaving them all in red here and then I incorporated some green for the stems and they worked out pretty well. So I might just bring that forward a little bit. And uh, I'll show you what to do. Now, if you are not familiar with croque broad, please have a look at my beginner's video first. It's a little bit different. It's not all that complicated, but it usually involves uh, at least a couple of colors. So at least a couple of shuttles. And it involves beating with a comb or something similar. And it's a slightly different sequence it's a, like a repetitive sequence but you're changing colors all the time to get the patterns it's really cool all right I'm going to show you how to do these tulips so I started out with a little white border so we'll start with that as well first with white so the first sequence is all white I've got my heddle in up position and pick up stick A is forward I will detail all of this in the notes section so don't worry, you can follow along the notes and it's much easier to follow notes and watch the video at the same time rather than just have one or the other because it's a little bit difficult to understand to start with. Pick up stick A slides to the back. Through the white again, we're going to lift pick up stick B, which we have on our heddle rod. And I'll just refer to it as pick up stick B. Beat that down and then into down position for one more pick. And that's just our basic little white border to start with. Heddle goes back into up position and pick up stick A comes forward. You can beat that down a little bit so it's nice and tight and neat. I think I mentioned in my last video it doesn't really matter um, how you know you could, it's up to you how hard you want to beat but I've found with doing the tulips you need to pack it in pretty tight to um, get this effect otherwise they're going to be all gappy and they won't look as much like flowers okay so this time I've got a green for the stems so I'm going to weave one pick of green so the sequence now is green white white yeah Pedal up again, pick up stick A back and beat it in with your comb. Okay, pick up stick B comes up and we weave a row of white. Remember, green, white, white. This can be a challenge to not get your colours tangled. And down. So we weave now white in the down position. And for the stems, we're going to do this four times to build up the stem. That's once. Pick up stick A forward, heddle up, beat down, and bring the green back in. Uh, I'm going a little bit faster in this video than I might normally go. Um, and that's just because there are so many steps that if I went really slowly, the video would be very long. Heddle up, pick up stick A back, beat in. As I said, I'll have all of the pattern sequences written down for you, so um, I'm sure you'll be able to follow along. Pick up stick B up. And you can always slow me down a little bit and get a bit of a laugh about... Um, hearing my accent really slow. Actually, I shouldn't have mentioned that because you're going to do it now, aren't you? Okay. In the down position, leaving that white through again. So we've gone through that sequence twice now. That is the green, white, white sequence. Up again, pick up stick A forward. And this is our green row. That away. Yep. Yeah. 
You see how we're building up a stem? Pick up stick A back, beat down your stem, green. And pick up stick B up. And then down. And I can beat that in again. And then um, another pick of white in the down shed. So that's three sequences we've done for the stem now. Pick up stick A forward, head or up. And we introduce the green for the last time. Because then we've built enough stem by that time. Unless you want to do an extra long stem. And then we bring white back in. And white is over this side. So it gets a little confusing with the extra shuttles, but you'll get used to it. Takes a little bit of concentration. Okay, so that is our last sequence for the stems. Now we move on to the petals. And this is where it gets really pretty. Okay, so this goes back to the up position. We pick up stick A forward and I'm just going to give that an extra beat down. I'm going to remove my green from this area so that it doesn't get in my way and confuse me. And I'm going to grab my red. I've left it over here. Okay. So the sequence this time is red, white, red. And we're going to do that three times to make the petals. So, um, petals up, pick up stick A is forward, and we weave in the red. Of course, you can change the colours around if you want to. If you don't like the colours that I'm using, you don't have to use what I'm using. Um, so you see that the white has formed a background, and green is for the stems and red's for the petals. So you could do a dark background, like a navy blue background with a green stem or whatever stem and yellow petals, wouldn't that look great? Or maybe a dark background with an entirely white flower. There's so many combinations you could do. So we did red for that one and now pick up stick B comes up for white. You guys remember this sequence is red, white, red. Red, white, red. That goes down. And I'm going to beat that with my beater. Back to red again for the down shed. There we go. Now you'll start to see how your petals are going to form. So we're in the up shed and pick up stick A's forward and we're coming back in with red. Slide pick up stick A to the back. Beep. It really makes a difference beating with a comb. You just can't get the beat tight enough with your heddle for this type of design. Um, so that was red. So next is white with the pickup stick B up. And then down. And then red again. So it's 
still building up our flowers. And really it's up to you how much you want to build them up. I just built them up to a point where I thought that they represented tulips pretty well. The tulips are kind of tall. So you could leave it at that point if you wanted to, but I'm going to do one more sequence. So head or up, pick up, stick, A forward, red. Pick up, stick, A slips back and we're going to bring in the white. And pick up stick B comes up. And then down. And then one more red for the downship. And that's your basic tulip. We've done that three times now. And then you can finish off like you did at the start. Heddle up, pick up, uh, pick up stick A forward and finish off with a white border or your background colour as a border. Pick up stick A back. Pick up stick B comes up as we run another row of white. So this doing this kind of technique is um, it's not quick. It's fairly labor intensive, but I think it's worth the effort for something so striking. And I think it'll look great as a band on. Um, some kitchen towels or baby blanket wouldn't that look great on a baby blanket as a border yeah that would look nice we'll beat that down and there you have it they're my tulips i hope you think they look like tulips too thanks for watching and if you give this a try leave me some feedback i love to know how people have uh, how your project has turned out okay till next time